Hi everyone. Um, so I'm starting a new playlist here, a new video series about GDAL or Goodle. Um, what it stands for is the Geospatial Data Abstraction Library and it's used a lot for working with raster data. And so this is going to be a package that we use in Python. You can also use it in C++. And it also has command line utilities that you can use for doing things like terrain analysis, um, projection management, data management, things like that. Um, so here I am, I'm at gdal.org. And let's just take a look at the about page real quick. Um, so this is for raster and vector geospatial data formats. Um, and it's going to allow you to just interact with those things in a programming interface. Um, this license, it's licensed under MIT license. I'm going to give you the information about that here. Um, so the first thing we're going to want to do is I'm going to be using this in Python. Um, you have the source code of things here. Um, I'm going to show you the way I prefer to use this when I'm using it with Python. And so there are two ways you can do this. I'm going to show you the easiest way first, and I'm going to show you a, a slightly more difficult but still pretty easy way to install this second. Okay, so let's go um, over here. And so here I am, I'm in QGIS, and actually I'm just going to uh, clear out some things here so that we can uh, make sure that we're, we're all clear. I don't need to have these opened. Okay, those are from previous tutorials. So the easiest way is to remember QGIS. And in QGIS, if you have this installed, you go to Plugins and Python Console. And when you come here, um, you can just type, let's, do, let's see if we can just do import GDAL. We can just do import GDAL. The library is already installed with the Python installation that comes with QGIS. That's going to be the easiest way to do this. Um, the downside for that is you have to use the QGIS Python interpreter, and it's easiest to do that from the Python console here. So that's my recommendation is if you're just starting out with this, is to just download and install QGIS, and I have a video on, on how to do that. If you go back and search on my videos page, um, if you prefer to just use it with your regular Python installation, we'll cover how to do that right here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is we're going to use a wheel file to install this. And so I'm going to come and I'm just going to Google GDAL Python wheel. And I've looked at this before, so we'll just download this. And this first one, this Python extension packages for Windows by Christoph Golke. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Um, he has compiled a wheel file that makes it really easy to install this. Um, so if I just come over here, I'm going to click Control F and I'm just going to search for GDAL. And I can click on it here where it's highlighted, and it brings me down here. And so right here we have version uh, 2.4.1. And so let's just take a look at this first one. So this is 2.4.1. This is for Python version 20 set of 2.7 uh, 32-bit Windows operating system. Okay. And if we come down, so I'm running a Python. We'll go check it actually through the command line. So I have it pulled up here. Um, and if you need to check your Python version, just uh, type Python, and I'm running Python 3.6.4, and so we'll exit out of the uh, interactive session here, and so I need the Python 3.6 version, which is going to be right here, and I am running um, a 64-bit machine, so I want the 64-bit version. So I'm going to download this. Okay, and I want to put this in my downloads folder. Just make sure you know where you save this. Okay, and so that's going to download and that's going to save. Okay, so then I want to come back to my command prompt here. And I'm going to type python m pip install. And now I'm going to give it the path to where I just downloaded this. So mine's going to be in users. Conrad downloads and then I need to come in um, I'll come over here to my downloads and I'm just going to copy that file name because it's going to be a little hard to remember so I'll copy that and I'll come back to my command prompt 
and we will paste that in. And so this should install um, GDAL for me. I'm to enter. And this might take just a minute, but as you can see, it's working. So I'll pause this till we get some output. Okay, so we're getting some output here. Um, I already had this installed, so it just found the existing installation. Um, now it's uninstalling it. It successfully uninstalled that version of GDAL, and now it's going to go back um, and install the newer version. Okay, and so it says I should consider upgrading my PIP installation. That's fine. Um, so we successfully installed GDAL 2.4.1. And now to check this, I can type Python here. This will open up an interactive Python session, and I can do import GDAL. And this might take just a minute to load. Um, I didn't get any errors, so I'm good to go here. And I should be able to check the version of this with GDAL underscore underscore version underscore underscore. Let's see what happens. And so that's going to throw an error. Uh, let me just double check the different way to do this. So let's try to use version info here. So GDAL version info. And it gives us uh, this right here, which we can go back and look up and, and find which version that responded to. So there you have it. That's how you can get GDAL installed uh, for Python uh, on Windows. This process here should also work. Uh, for Linux and Mac. Um, you won't be able to use that wheel file. You might have to do it from source. Um, there might also be a little better way to do it there. So I guess, um, yeah, sorry. I misspoke. This, this process won't work the same way for Windows and for Linux. Um, I'm not very, or it won't, sorry, it will work for Windows. It will not work for Mac and for Linux this exact way. Um, as these are for Windows, the wheel files are for Windows. But I think there are easier ways to do this on, on Mac and Linux than if you have those operating systems you're probably aware of. Anyway, sorry about that confusion. But that gives you the basics of how you can um, get GDAL installed. And moving forward in this video series, we are going to uh, use GDAL to work with raster and with vector data. All right. Thanks for watching. Uh, we'll catch back up on this. In the come um, in some coming videos, and hopefully you enjoy everything. Thanks. Have a good day.